Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a shoutcast and game one in a best of three series between AT and Zoke versus Triple A's Nurtio here on Shakura's Plateau. This was taken from the Battle.net Invitational, the European servers, um, what, Battle.net and Blizzard inviting eight of the top players from each realm to go ahead and compete. And we'll see how these games goes games go as they are now underway. Um, I believe the past weekend was the European um, information or in invitational this coming weekend. I believe August 11th and 12th or like 13th and 14th, 12th and 13th, I think will be um, the North American invitational as well. As you can see, pretty standard openings. This is going to be Zerg versus Protoss on Shakura's Plateau. Triple O Nurtio spawning as the red Zerg on the top left hand side. Meanwhile, on the bottom right hand side, we do have ATN Zoke or Sock here as well. Now, uh, one thing that I don't normally ask you guys to do, and I will ask you guys to do this time around, is please like this video. Um, I was reading up on YouTube and, and reading up and on how YouTube videos are actually searched. And the like feature actually increases the number of chances my video will actually come up if you guys look for StarCraft 2 information. So I know a lot of you guys out there watch me pretty regularly. I have I get around 7,000 views now on a good day per video. And with 60,000 subscribers, I know I can really increase that number more and be able to give you guys higher quality content. I am looking to host another tournament, but I do have to sponsor those myself. And having more views per video definitely goes a long way to doing that so yes please remember to like please remember to comment um i'll probably have a shorter explanation in the future but yeah um i, I just gotta be cheesy and now start asking for um likes on my videos just to be able to provide you guys with better content anyways nurtio down down over here does have this drone the drone getting down here a little bit earlier than normal so, uh, be, so he's not going to be able to really set up a hatchery down over here so i'm curious as to what this hatchery will exactly be doing if he actually tries to go a little bit further perhaps now heading back up the ramp the uh, probe is on patrol right there there is not going to be a forge fast expansion so this is a rather interesting build by zoke normally on shakura's plateau protoss players try to go for a forge fast expand but this time around you can see that zoke instead of going for that forge fast expand has instead tried to deny the natural expansion pretty pretty um pretty pretty consistently and now delaying the natural expansion getting one more shot off onto that probe it looks like that drone will grow up to be a hatchery now but the build order was a little bit messed up by nurtio and nurtio um, perhaps expecting that his opponent was going to go for a forge fast expand is not going to be able to really um, power drone or have a license to drone as you would as much as he would like. A probe now attempting to run away from those um, zerglings over here. The zergling may decide to turn around and engage in, a, in addition with the help of that one zealot. And we'll see, is he actually going to engage together? No, he's now going after that one. Some of those zerglings getting two rounds of attack already. Those zerglings are just going to continue to run back. We may be getting a Stalker as well, and the Stalker should be able to get three shots off to shoot down a Zergling. One Zergling now down, another Zergling taking three more or two more shots down to four hit points, and now finally backing off. The Zealot going to head up that ramp in order to get some decent scouting information. See that the Hatchery has been placed down. I'm sure he already knew that. Metabolic Boost now being researched. It looks like there's only two drones on gas. Normally you do have three, so we'll see what that gas will be used for as a zealot now tries to slash his way through this one hatchery. It may come up onto the high ground now, try to engage the queen, but there are now a decent number of zerglings. A zealot attempting to run away may get surrounded, and oh, a very, very sad day to be a, a zealot there getting surrounded by zerglings and not even getting off one kill. So first blood or first true blood and damage to Nurtio as we have 75 resources compared to 100 losses and now we are going into additional gateways we may get one more gateway as well we'll see if that stalker will be able to make it through in time a pylon now being warped in and uh, now that stalker going to sit in that position right there chrono boosting there are a couple sentries here that stalker has a decent number of hit points will be able to fend off this attack pretty regular pretty easily and nicely done so Zoke um, getting up that expansion, it wasn't a forge fast expand, and I really like this movement by Zoke, but you can now see a, a quick hatchery being thrown down by Nurtio as the counter movement to try to get up onto three bases as quickly as possible. The real problem, though, will be the aggression of Zoke. Zoke already having that warp gate research, and he may be able to go into seven gate very, very easily. Seven gate warping in a lot of units, transferring probes, and with this, 
perhaps a punish his opponent if he does uh, tend to over drone you can see five drones now being trained up you can take a look at the unit tab 11 zerglings versus five sentries and one stalker all we need is a couple round of zealots to balance out this force which does happen rather quickly we are also getting that level one weapons upgrade as well a sentry i believe was trying to shut down this overlord here the overlord able to be shooed away there and now zoke as long as he really or his sock as long as he just increases his production buildings he's going to have a very very nice number of gateway units in just a moment you can already see seven sentries in the field already at yeah, seven centuries 33 probes compared to 37 drones we are getting even more and more workers on both sides zoke for some reason not training up off of this nexus here that's something he definitely needs to do there are a lot of what only two centuries there are only two centuries he doesn't want to show all of these centuries he doesn't want to tip his hand as to what he may be going for as another gateway coming online level one weapons upgrade more than halfway completed continuing to dump chrono boost onto it as well in order to speed that research up was okay now training up two probes at a time as well that there is still that one stalker right in that position holding its own holding the ground and it's currently sitting at 60 to 68 another eight drones being trained so we are now getting into 43 drones compared to 39 probes and this may be a problem i think zoke has a lot of units and as soon as he moves out with his army um we'll see what he can do uh, all nurtio really needs to do is save up a round of spawn larva for a bunch of roaches and he may be able to fend off this attack but he doesn't have really strong creep spread and he doesn't have glial reconstitution yet the movement speed upgrade on those roaches as the uh, uh, sentries and zealots now finally making a, a move out you can see another gateway warping in right there a sentry coming in right behind it attempting to take down that pylon we can get a force field right there in just a moment is it going to happen to perhaps um, stop some of those units the zerglings um, about to take down this one pylon there's the force field preventing that pylon from going down the pylon will be able to slowly regenerate some of that energy as well getting in another gateway right behind it and we'll see what's going to be happening there's that there's that one pylon there and then now oh a run by coming in nurtio in a bit of trouble is he going to be able to get those force fields down yes one force field does come into play uh, zerglings unable to retreat the probes now pushing back over here as this hatchery now going to get taken down as well so a, a bit of a counterattack by both sides, but Zoke with a much stronger army, especially with that level 1 weapons upgrade already completed. Drones and Queen and getting a little bit caught there. A force field quickly coming in right behind. It looks like that probe will not be able to make it up that ramp. Roach is engaging against the Stalkers, but this is not looking good at all for Nurtio. Nurtio is in a bit of trouble. Roaches may shut down this pylon here. Another pylon should be warping in on that high ground. As the Stalkers are going to try to engage, it looks like another Roach and some uh, drones will get taken down. Down they go. And now Zoke needs to perhaps push down this ramp. He has to be very careful about this. Um, he doesn't want to He doesn't want to run straight into a nice concave group of Roaches. As now just trying to really test the waters. There you go. There's some force fields. Roach is getting caught. Uh, some of those Roaches will not be able to escape. There you go. As, uh, some of those Roaches are trying to move in, trying to engage. More Roaches are getting taken down. Down goes another Roach. And I believe the Sentry should be able to perhaps push down another probe. Attempting to escape there as a Zealot gets taken down as well. And both sides going to start to engage. Another split right there as more Roaches getting destroyed. So a nice use of force fields by those Sentries. And those Sentries really, really doing a great job already. Another Zealot getting taken down. But at the trading of two Roaches. Trading two Roaches. Um, two Roaches for a Zealot. A good, good trade any day of the week. As these Roaches are now getting constantly torn apart. And Nurtio really losing a lot of units now. His harvester count 53 to 51 army combination 22 25 14 50 as you can see zoke just being very cold and calculating blinking back with those lower hit point stalkers that do not have shields and zoke is just looking like an absolute beast able to even blink past those force fields and now forcing nurtio to run off of one base Roaches are going to try to engage. There are some force fields. They do arrive to the party a little bit late, shutting down some overlords. And is he going to see this expansion over here to the top right? That is the key question. It doesn't. Lo it looks like he will try to activate this El Naga Tower. As soon as he does so, he will catch that expansion right there. He sees the creep and now realizes that he needs to make a, a move into this direction. Oh, he's not. 
oh wow okay so um apparently i do not know zake that well as a player i did cast a lot of his games in the past but he's now waiting for reinforcements before he's trying to engage. His army is more than double his opponent, but he is being very cold and calculating, wanting to make sure that um, wanting to make sure that he has the superior dominant forces before he even tries to engage. Stalkers are blinking after those roaches. Stalkers do move slightly or slightly slower than those roaches. However, Stalkers able to move at the speed of light. Definitely, definitely very, very beneficial as this probe perhaps will be setting up a proxy pylon and now an, an observer being added to this army as well. Level 3 weapons upgrade now coming in. Zoke could easily transition into Colossi now. There is a lot of roaches. The gateway units just getting um just getting an absolute dominant dominant forces in numbers so far as nurchio now tries to do another push back up onto this north side here sentries trying to or roaches and stalkers um both engaging but i believe zolke with just the larger larger gateway ball of units able to just constantly destroy and push his opponent back zolke now trying to get up on bases as nurchio comes in to shut down a couple of pylons but losing pylons in, in exchange for losing roaches a very very nice engagement here as the stalkers now blinking up onto the high ground very nicely done you can see that those stalkers getting in a lot of damage those roaches not not all, many of them able to engage at all as those stalkers perhaps will be able to blink to the low ground and perhaps give chase looks like they will be able to pick off a couple more roaches oh no just only one as the the blink cooldown was not available to all of them now you can see that another overlord quickly getting shot in the middle of the field taking a look at the army the army is once again much stronger by zoke but we are getting a lot more zerglings and roaches once more we are getting the level three weapons upgrade and an immortal as well so those immortals with a range of five will be able to destroy those roaches rather quickly dealing an amazing 65 65 damage per pop as a zealot now tries to shut down this hatchery it doesn't look like it will succeed at all as the Zerglings were able to easily surround it. There is still this proxy pylon up on the high ground. So what could happen is the Stalkers could try to could blink up to the high ground with some smart blinking, get in a nice round of reinforcements, and then push out. The Stalkers, however, um, got to be very careful. They do not want to engage on creep. If they engage on creep, that is going to be bad news. Are they going to blink? Yes, they blink, but unable to blink into the correct location. Stalkers and sentries and Immortal now coming in. And that Immortal getting in some easy damage. But now just trying to take on a swarm of roaches and unable to do so. Uh, creep tumors and now transfusions coming in from Nurchio. Um, probably much better to just research Burrow than trying to transfuse roaches. Roaches do not have that many hit points. And then Burrow takes only, I believe, 20 seconds to allow for a fully regenerated, maybe 25, 37 seconds, somewhere in that range for a fully regenerated roach, even if a roach is at one hit point. Another hatchery being placed down by Nurtio now. Nurtio doing the typical all expansion to try to get back into this game. He is also going into Infestors. He will be dealing with an uphill battle against the High Templars. High Templars with Psystorm, the natural counter to Infestors, as in, or, uh, sorry, with feedback, the natural counter to Infestors. As drones are now making their way up on this high ground, going to be doing a little bit of long distance mining. Perhaps one or two trips before this one hatchery is up. But a round of zealots now coming in. And the zealots will see that the drones are now doing some long distance mining. And what is happening here? The zealots are now going to give chase. There is no zealot charge at all. And drones are just getting destroyed. The zealots now trying to attempt to shut down this here. As we are now getting a main army battle in the center portion. Ooh, a nice dodge of that fungal growth. But the zealots, no. The zealots are not going to finish off that hatchery. But as these zealots will finish off the drones here. As the zealots are now fighting back against those zerglings the zealots do have superior upgrades indeed able to shut down many of those zerglings before getting taken down and now there is the zerglings finishing off this pylon here on the high ground zoke being very smart deciding to take this high ground expansion here perhaps should be able to warp in a pylon here and then start warping up units onto this high ground as well with the help of, of an observer or two and now we also see a lot of spine crawlers coming in from nurchio nurchio does have the smaller army but really both armies have the capability of completely destroying the other based upon positioning and we'll see how these players do the upgrades however definitely in favor of zoke as zoke has three zero upgrades now going for three one compared to just the one one upgrade so far 
Now, um, gateway, we have a lot of gateways coming in. We also have enough high Templars for a decent number of side storms. Level 1 weapon or armor upgrades, as we mentioned. Immortal still being added as, once again, the Stalker is able to blink up onto that high ground, as I mentioned earlier, and then blink away, shutting down one of the hatcheries. It is going to be four bases versus three, and that is always a very difficult proposition as a Zerg player when you are behind on bases, especially on a macro map such as this Shakura's Plateau east versus west and it looks like Zoke is now just going to perhaps get up to 200 food bank a decent number of resources and then try to make a make a decent press as he knows that he will have the superior army both in terms of upgrade and in size and cost Drone still wandering back and forth. One observer still right here, keeping track of the majority of the army so far. There are five spine crawlers in the center portion of the field, and that is just a crazy number of stalkers. 39 stalkers in midfield, and now we may get a fungal growth in the Zerglings. There you go, feedback all across those units there. The Roach is trying to pull back. And those feed that feedback was absolutely critical. We can see that we are getting some Guardian Shield. More Psy Storm coming in. More, yeah, just raining on that parade. Blinking once again. And Nurchio gonna be forced to say GG. A dominant, dominant showing by Zoke here. Game 1 in a best of 3 series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for Game 2. As ATN Zoke just completely rolled over Nurchio with dominant upgrades, superior macro, and great play. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.